The United States spends 6800 per person versus three to 4000 per person in other countries on health care. Why does it cost so much, and how can we control these costs? The bills seem to keep mounting. The co-pays increase, and the deductibles increase. So rapidly, health care is becoming unaffordable, even for those who have health insurance. Two words, competition and insurance. If you look at the cost of health care in the United States, the rapid rise began in 1970, and the rise in health care costs exceeded inflation. This is because Medicare was instituted in 1965. As seniors became more adept at utilizing the Medicare system to pay for care that they previously had not accessed, the cost escalated. We also know from numerous health care studies, many of them done by Porter and Teesburg, show that when someone doesn't bear the cost of health care, they utilize more. So overutilization began to be the norm. Providers in the health care system see this all the time. When someone else is paying the bill, you purchase things that you would not have when you were paying for them out of your own pocket. So the mere fact that we have insurance causes costs to rise. In addition to that, as consumers, and constituents, we've asked our legislatures within our states to add on more benefits to our health insurance. So each state varies how many benefits and how many providers have to be offered in order to sell health insurance within a certain state. In my state of Iowa, we have 26 mandated benefits and we have seven mandated providers. It's estimated for each provider and each benefit that's added, the cost is one to three percent. I like to say that at my age, I would like to have my health insurance policy cover catastrophic, cover prevention, and cover immunizations, which we still need to be immunized. However, I can't purchase a policy like that in my state. I don't particularly want to have maternity or in vitro fertilization or adoption covered within my policy. All of those things add to the cost. So, I like to say that at my age, if I get pregnant again, it will be through immaculate conception. I only wish my health care policy would reflect that. So, insurance is a big driver of health care cost because we're not paying for it, and when we, we don't see the true cost, no one is competing for value, which leads us to competition. Is there competition in health care? The competition in health care that exists is zero-sum competition. And what do I mean by that? The competition is not aligned to give value to you, the patient. So you can go to one hospital or another to have a procedure done, but both hospitals are going to be reimbursed the same amount by your insurance or by Medicare. So we don't go to one hospital or the other on the basis of value added cost. The same is true for providers. Someone can come to see me as a doctor in my town or from another state and I'm going to be paid the same regardless of what value I provide to that patient. We need to realign the competition in health care to provide value to the patients who receive that health care. Currently, the value goes to the employer, to the insurance company, or to the government. I'd like to see more power in the hands of consumers of health care so that they can reduce their cost and get better value and better service. Now, how do we know that competition is going to work in healthcare? We're going to discuss that on our next video. If you have a question or a comment, please feel free to contact me on my blog, Facebook, or Twitter. We'll talk about competition and how it works in the next video. Thank you.